If you learn how to use your right hand, you will need no volume pedal, no compressor, no noise gate, and even no overdrive. Today I'm gonna give you five guidelines to jumpstart your picking technique the right way. Your signature sound is in the hand you sign your signature with. Number one, make sure you're holding your pick right. Now, there's pretty much only one correct way to hold your pick. It might sound like a no-brainer, but it's one of the most important things to learn. So this is how you hold the pick. Your hand has to be relaxed. If the grip is too tight, it can cause cramping. If it's too loose, the pick will fly away. So you have to find your right spot. You'd be surprised at the way improper technique can impede your musical journey. This is from direct experience. I've been playing professionally for almost 20 years and believe it or not, until a few years ago, I was holding the pick in the wrong way. Number two, different picks equal different sounds. Picks come in all shapes, materials and thickness. Your pick is the bridge between you and your bass. It's an extension of your fingers, so it's very important you get the right one. To choose a pick, I recommend you first decide which shape is more comfortable for you. Once that you got that down, you can try plectrons with different thickness and hardness. While thickness refers to the actual size of the pick, hardness refers to the material. So plectrons with the same thickness but made of different materials can respond quite differently. The point is that you can use different picks for different songs or even song sections. It's not just how the string responds to the pick, but it's how your right hand does. If you're having trouble keeping a consistent tempo on a particular riff, try use a softer or a harder pick. It might solve the problem. Number three, different picking areas equal different sounds. Moving the picking area can make a huge difference on what kind of sound you get out of the instrument. Picking close to the neck normally gives you a rounder and thumpy sound with a vintage feeling like John Paul Jones or Led Zeppelin, while picking next to the bridge provides a way brighter and more defined sound like David Ellefson of Megadeth. If you pick right over the pickup, especially if you're using a precision bass, you'll get a really bright and dirty tone, perfect for heavier parts. This is something you can use also within the same song. For example, you can pick next to the bridge during the verses, and then move over the pickup during the chorus for a more aggressive sound. So as you see, we have already a variety of sounds we can get without using pedals or changing EQ or settings. Up next, palm muting. One of the greatest advantages you have when you're using a pick is the ability to mute the strings using the palm of your right hand. You can't do that if you play with your fingers unless you use a foam, but it's not the same thing. Muting provides a very tight and percussive sound without losing volume or intensity. Palm muting done right, it's the equivalent of applying a gate and a compressor to your bass. Once again, you can use this technique to create dynamics within the song. You can use palm muting during the verse and then take it off during the chorus. It will work much better than using a volume pedal. If you want to see some great palm muting, check the early police bass lines. So you probably see where we're going. If you master your right hand, you won't need no compressor, no gate, no noise suppressor, no volume pedal, and if you use the right amplifier, no distortion either. Your right hand has already all these tools in it, and you just need to know how to use them. Also, you will have a better control over your tone and overall sound. You will look cooler, play better, and save yourself a lot of problems and sound check time when playing live. And you will look like a total pro in the studio. Guaranteed. Before we move on to the last point, please hit the like button, subscribe and leave a comment with any tip or suggestion to improve. These videos require a great deal of time and effort to make and with three simple clicks you will really help the channel keep going. Thank you. Number 5. Work on your upstroke. When playing with the pick, we normally use both downstrokes and upstrokes. Normally downstrokes have a more even and tighter sound and they generally feel easier and more natural to do. But having a good upstroke will enable you to have a good alternate picking technique that you can use to put up with really fast tempos, for example. Also using alternate picking brings a more relaxed element to the rhythm section that gives the overall song a punk feeling. Check out Chris Novoselic of Nirvana and Mike Dern of Green Day. 
The idea is that your upstroke and downstroke should have the same volume, intensity and control. So make sure you also insert some alternate peaking into your practice routine. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram.